Taylor of Taylor Lynn Crochet and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these removable towel toppers. Um, there's tons of great patterns out there for towel toppers. You guys have probably seen my original towel topper video where the towel topper is attached to the towel. And recently I've been seeing people using these bamboo rings or shower curtains or all kinds of other things to make these removable ones. Uh, this is going to be a super, super simple beginner friendly pattern. Um, I'm going to share some patterns in the link from Ash and Tay Facebook group members uh, that are a little bit more uh, more advanced or they're like um, just a lot more steps and they are more intricate and beautiful. So if you guys wanted to try something a little bit more advanced, I definitely suggest checking out their tutorials or patterns. Uh, but this is just for my basic beginners or people who want really, really quick makes for market prep. I know quick makes are a must, but like I said, um, maybe I'll pop up some pictures of some other ones that are out there. But yeah, we're gonna get started on this tutorial. Okay. You're going to need uh, two wooden rings or shower cotton, shower curtain rings or something like that. I'll share the link to where I got these off of Amazon for you guys. Um, also, you're going to need weight for cotton yarn. Um, this is a Walmart brand cotton yarn and I've also made a lot out of this. I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. You could use Lily Sugar and Cream, Peaches and Cream. There's a lot of uh, weight for cottons you can use and in all honesty you could change this to any yarn you have, any size you have, any hook size you have. Um, just your row count would be, probably be a little bit different. And then I'm going to use a five millimeter hook. Um, if you're using weight for cotton you could probably use anything from a four millimeter to a six millimeter and it would still turn out totally fine. So the first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot and you're going to stick your hook through it and now we're going to pick up this ring and normally we would chain um, and then do single crochets into that and instead we're going to do our single crochets around this hook so I have my yarn on the outside I'm going to put my hook through the loop I'm going to pick up the yarn, I'm going to hook it on my hook um, and bring it around and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops on hook. And now I just have one loop on hook and I've crocheted around. So again, I'm going to go through the loop, hook the yarn, bring it back around, I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops on hook. So I'm going to do it one more time slow for you guys through the, the hoop, hook the yarn, pull it back up, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook. So right now we have three single crochets on here, and we're gonna do three more. So one, two, three. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to turn our work. And we're going to do a half double crochet in each single crochet. So we're going to have six half double crochets across this road. The first chain two does not count as a stitch. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to insert our hook right there. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through all three. Yarn over insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. We're gonna do that three more times till we get to the end of this row. And in this last stitch, get in there, okay. And this is what you should have so far. Um, sorry if you guys can hear all that rustling in the background. It's Tatum uh, attacking his bed. <laughs> so now <clears throat> we're going to repeat this same stitch the entire pattern. So we're just going to chain one, 
two, turn our work, half double crochet in each stitch across. Um, and we're gonna do this for quite a few rows. We're gonna do it for 15 rows. So that's row two, so we're gonna chain two, turn our work, half double crochet in the first stitch and in every stitch across. So this is row three. After this row, we have 12 more rows to go. So why don't you do this for 12 rows and then we will meet each other um, once we're at row 15 and I will show you how we are going to finish this pattern. that you have your 15 rows, we are going to attach our second ring. So at the end of row 15, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're gonna do the same thing like we did in the beginning where we're single crocheting around the loop, um, except for the only difference is, is we're gonna go work into our stitch Work into our stitch and then go around the hoop, pick up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two stitches. We're gonna go into our next stitch, around the hoop, pick up a stitch, yarn over, pull through two. In through the stitch, around the hook, sorry, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two. In through the stitch, around the wood, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you're gonna do that, so you're gonna have six of these all the way across. And then when we get to our last one, we're going to leave uh let's just say a 10 inch tail or so you're gonna make one more chain and then pull your yarn all the way through and then as you can see you're gonna have like this row of single crochets on here and it's not going to quite reach right here so what i like to do is just fold it so that I'm pulling this flat against those single crochets and then I'm going to take my end with my yarn needle and I'm going to kind of just seam it together so it's a little bit more seamless because um, on this side it's just straight down and on this side we have uh, this little ridge right here and we, oops, sorry, right here. We want to just kind of seam it flat. So what I like to do is I'd like to just pick up a stitch here and pick up the flat bar right there. Pick up the next stitch, pick up the next flat bar. You go through. Pick up the stitch, pick up that flat bar. Pick up this stitch. And then after that, I just weave my ends in as I normally would. I think everyone's kind of got their own little preference on how to weave in your ends, but then you're going to 
snip that end off we have to weave in our other end and voila you have a towel topper and how you would use this is you would hang this over um, let's just say this is like yours the handle across the front of your oven or your fridge handle and you would slide this over that and then you would slide the towel through this part and then that would secure it onto your oven or your hanging bar or whatever you're hanging your towel from um, just like this and then if you needed to change your towel because it got dirty you could just then pull your towel out and then grab a new towel and after it's looped over whatever bar you want it on put it on pull it through you know readjust your towel and you are all set to go um these i'm going to be selling with my regular towel toppers at my next craft show um as of right now i'm not feeling the greatest so i don't know if i'm going to be able to attend my next craft show but if i do i will for sure have to update you guys in the comments or the description on how they sold um but i think that these little bamboo rings kind of add a modern touch a little boho and i think they're super cute and i'm excited um, to see you guys try these like I said, it's a super simple pattern Don't forget to check out those a little bit more intricate and detailed um, toppers um, by some amazing makers below and um, I will see you guys next time and um, Yeah, I hope you guys have a great uh, market prep or You know, whatever you guys are working on. I hope it goes good